everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are finally getting started on this extreme room makeover. I am so excited for this transformation. It's going to be incredible. If you guys have not been following along on my channel, we are transforming this room of my parents' house. So this room actually started out as my childhood bedroom. I chose this bright yellow color and chose this floral wallpaper. So that was that. After I moved out of that room and into another one, my mom took over this room as her home office. So she put this big large desk in here. She had filing cabinets in here and she never made this space a room of her own. She never redecorated. Obviously the paint was still there. So now that she's retired and no longer needs this room as a home office, we are going to give it an extreme room makeover. So she really wants to turn this space into a multi-purpose space for herself. And I'm so excited to create a room special for her. So she really wants an area that she can work at a desk, use her laptop and plan her trips that she's going on. She also wants a reading nook. So a comfortable space with nice lighting that she's comfortable to read in. She just loves to read. And she also wants to turn this space into a potential guest room space. So she has three different purposes going on. This is going to be a really amazing multi-purpose space functioning three different ways. And she does have a special request to keep this old dresser and integrate it into the design. So this old dresser actually was my great grandmother's and it's a very special piece. It's beautiful. It's very well made. And we're going to be using this in the new design and really incorporating it in a beautiful way. So as you guys may have seen in my previous video, that's the phase one of this room makeover. We removed the wallpaper and we chose paint colors. So my mom was as part of this process of choosing the color that she wanted. She wasn't really all about going all white in the room, so she wanted to incorporate a color and she liked teal. So I was thinking if we're gonna do teal, we have to do a dark moody teal, something that's really beautiful, that's gonna balance out the dark wood of this dresser. So we ended up choosing this color Tsunami. You guys chose this color as well, you agreed with it. And I'm so thankful for that. I was so glad to have you guys as part of the process. And I chose a warm white color called Spun Cotton. After we picked the paint colors, I kicked her out and she is no longer part of this design until she sees it right at the end. So I can't wait for you guys to see her reaction at the end of this video. She is going to freak out. This room is going to be completely different and I'm so excited to get started. So if you guys are excited to see this room transformation and just love these videos as much as I do, give this video a big thumbs up right now and let's go ahead and get started. Before I got started with painting this room, I really wanted to sit down and figure out the layout of this space. There was so many different functions and purposes going on in this room. So we needed a desk area, we needed a reading nook, we needed an overnight space, and we needed to incorporate this dresser in this very small space. So I came up with a bunch of different ideas I knew I wanted a little laptop desk in here. I didn't want anything big and clunky because I already knew that dresser was really heavy and thick looking. I didn't want another piece of furniture looking really heavy in there. So I wanted a very thin laptop desk. Also trying to figure out how I was going to incorporate an overnight space and a reading nook in the same space. And I thought if I could make them a two in one piece of furniture, that would be amazing. I then found the perfect option from Ikea. It was incredible. This really, really cool piece of furniture that looks like an ottoman and it turns into a single bed. I feel like it is the most innovative, amazing, multi-purpose piece of furniture. It's compact, but can extend out. It doesn't take up too much space. It looks very minimal. I just decided to go for the ottoman shape with two cushions. And I felt like finding this piece at Ikea really helped the whole room come together because now there was space to move, there was space to have all these different functioning parts in this room and I could start to draw out these layouts. So I knew the two main spaces of this room were going to be this desk area and this reading nook slash overnight space. I really wanted to anchor these two spaces with the teal accent wall. So when I was coming up with layout ideas for this space, we were really thinking about sight lines and what you would see from each location. So having the idea of casually placing the furniture, cornering things, bringing things off the wall, facing the furniture towards each other. Really Really makes the space look like an official multi-purpose space. I went on Pinterest to try and figure out what the style of this space was going to be and I found all these beautiful images. I really love the color palette of these neutral tones, these warmer tones, black, white, and the teal color. I thought it was stunning together, especially with gold accents like this. So that was the direction I was heading in, again following the same theme of adding antique pieces with new pieces and really 
really blending them together. So then I created my own mood board and this is what I came up with. Some really simple Ikea pieces that were affordable, neutral, also mixing in some antique pieces, some wall art, and I think it's really blending together nicely. Creating a simple mood board like this really helps me visualize what this design is going to look like all together. It's painting day one, the first day of our extreme makeover. So from here on out, this room is going to look completely different. I'm all ready to go in my painter suit, as you guys can see. Let's crack open the paint and get started. Let's check out what the room looks like today. I let the paint dry overnight. Oh my gosh, such a big difference already. Once this yellow wall is gone, we'll be able to see the true colors in here, but wow. So today we're getting started on this wall, painting it Tsunami. To be honest, I'm super nervous. I've never done a wall this dark before, this bold before. So I'm just hoping it's gonna work out and look good. I just want it to look good. So we're gonna try it today because I think I'll regret it if I just go all white and do a boring thing like that. So I think we need to be bold, step outside of our zone here. My mom says she wanted teal, so she's getting teal. All right guys, second day of this makeover begins right now. sweatiness in that thing oh my gosh I love the color I hope you guys love the color too this is so intense so bold so moody kind of everything I wanted anyways it's day three of this extreme makeover and I really want to bring in all of the main pieces of furniture today I have a lot of building to do today because a lot of them are Ikea pieces I really wanted to mix that simple modern look with our old pieces like the dresser and little decor pieces around so you really get that mix of old and new and then once everything is in here we can start to decorate so we'll see if that turns into a day four thing I don't really know yet Depends how long it takes me to build this stuff. So let's go ahead and bring our furniture in and get building. The first thing I'm gonna be bringing into this space is this new rug that I got from Wayfair and I'm so happy with this rug. I've had my eye on this rug for a very long time now and it went on sale on Wayfair and I got it in one day. It shipped so quickly and I just love the pattern. It's very Moroccan, very traditional, but also modern and I think it's a great mix on all the different styles. It's really gonna help tie together the whole design it really blends well with the carpet that's existing in the room already and just helps brighten up the space. So I thought this is going to be a great addition to this new design. The first Ikea piece that I'm going to be building today is the Glandum tray table and this table is only $25. It's one of the most affordable tables at Ikea and I think it has the most simple and minimal design. It could match in so many different spaces so I thought it'd be perfect for this space where I want to mix some old and new together and it's just a great addition to our little reading nook. Now it really took me a while to figure out what desk was gonna go in this space. I ended up finding this Vitzjo Ikea desk for $49.99. Very affordable price. It's a great laptop desk and it's slim, it's glass, and the black accents just really blended with the rest of the room and it wasn't calling too much attention. It didn't take away from the dresser and it really looked like a great piece to just float in this space. 
Now it's time to put together my favorite thing that we found for this space, the Valentuna sleeper module for $475. So this is where a lot of the budget went for this space, but it really serves both purposes that we need as a sitting area, but also a sleepover space. It turns into this twin bed by just easily pulling out this bottom half. It slides out just like a pullout couch would, and you have a two-in-one system. So this is exactly what we needed. It's compact, but totally fits in this space perfectly. It comes in different colors and we just finished it off with some back cushions to make it more comfortable. So now I'm gonna be hanging the curtains and I decided to go with a double rod system so that we could have a plain curtain and then behind it, this is kind of like a lace curtain. So I thought that added a really nice old and new combination so we can layer those up with a nice modern black rod and then these are modern but also have like a very traditional look to them. So I think this is gonna look really amazing. These curtains match really well with this rug and then these will help brighten it up and add that white back in. So this is really gonna help soften up this whole wall right here. something a little different with the lighting for this desk since it's off the wall I don't want to have cords coming across the floor to have a table lamp so I thought we would hang a little pendant light coming down right here to hang above the desk I'm gonna be using this IKEA Hema cord set and it's actually a plug-in cord so you can plug it in bring it up the wall hang it on your ceiling using these little hooks that they provide and then you get to pick out your own light bulb so I have two different ones here one that's a more vintage light bulb this one probably has better light so I might end up going with this one and then you get to pick your own lampshade so I'm just going with something super simple it's called the cloven this is a really easy hack for people that don't have the lighting hookup so I thought adding a little pendant light here would just add some dimension some height and some light over top of this desk If you guys saw my last thrifting video, I found these four flat baskets for $2.99. So this is going to make a really cool wall art piece for $3. So that is pretty impressive. kind of want to use these flat baskets up above the reading nook here and place them all up there. I think it's going to add a nice texture to the wall and really bring in the warm tones from the dresser. So yeah, I'm just trying to lay out a pattern. I'm just going to stick a nail through each of the baskets right in the middle to hang it. So it should be really simple. Super easy wall decor idea for $3. And now onto my wall art. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be using these pictures. I'm just gonna be using the frames. I got one of these frames from the thrift store for $6.99 and it actually matched this Aladdin one that I already had at home. So I'm gonna be taking those prints out and just putting new art pieces inside. I'm finding my prints off this website called Unsplash where photographers can just upload images. You can download them for free and go get them printed. So they have amazing pieces on here. You can search keywords like Scandinavian, sunset, doors, windows. So my mom really wanted to look for some old Mediterranean doors, windows, alleyways, very European style things. So I found these three and just did a little mock-up of what it would look like on my wall so I could finalize my idea. Then I just sent them into the photo center at Walmart to get them printed at a larger size and I ended up with these. Wow, I just unrolled these in the car and they look amazing. I'm so glad I did this. <gasps> Love that. 
Oh my gosh, these are stunning. Okay, this was such a good idea. I'm so glad I did this. Oh, and the last one, this is my horizontal print. <gasps> wow. Okay, I can't wait to get these framed. I'm gonna head to Michael's right now to grab some frames for these and oh my god, I can't wait to get them up. They are stunning. All right guys, it is day four of this extreme makeover and today is the final day. I'm so excited to get everything on the walls, decorated and get this room completely finished. I just picked up my prints. They are amazing. These are exactly the style that my mom wanted. Very European, very old looking. Windows, doors, alleyways. This is like totally her right here. So we're almost done here. It's time to start decorating with all of these pieces that I have. I'm mixing in my vintage pieces from the thrift store with my new items from Home Goods. And as you guys can tell, they really blend nicely together. So this is another way that I'm mixing in the vintage style with the new style. So I can't wait to get these all set up. Okay guys, it's reveal time. We are so excited. I've got butterflies, I really do. She's so, <laughs> so excited. I'm so excited, right? Because I haven't had my own room before like this. This is a drastic difference. We've been working on this, or I've been working on this all week, She's maybe even longer. And I just think you're gonna love it. It's such a good mix of your style, my style. It just, it reminds me of you. And I think it's so cool. It's very neat because I gave her a challenge, right? Because yeah. we had to include that dresser in there, which means a lot to me. It was my grandmother's. A dresser and so many different things going on in this space. So yeah. it was a challenge, but I think that's what makes the room really, really interesting. So you remember what the room looked like before? Oh yes. Flashback to yellow room, wallpaper. Office, work. Filing cabinets, ugly. It's another world now because now I'm retired. It's time to move on and have a comfortable room. You deserve this, so. Thanks. Let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, come on in. Are you kidding me? Is it what you imagined? It's, it's more than I imagined. It's oh. more. It's really more. Oh. I love it. And this wall is spectacular. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. I love the wall. I love the pictures. So I this is your reading nook. I've got some stuff for you to store your books. Oh. We got some good lighting. 
<laughs> sit in the corner. There's lots of pillows. You can move them out of the way. Oh, well, I'll never leave this room. <laughs> this is spectacular. Oh, I like this too. And you tied that in beautifully. Yeah, it really looks oh, like it belongs. Goodness. Like it looks like we just planned it. It, it looks, it totally does. And look. With the wood frames, yeah, and the baskets, like just bringing in all the warm colors just really helped it not stand out. I, I'm just in awe. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, that is... so we layered in that, that all closes nicely. Oh, and look at the and your little light. Oh my goodness. Go sit at your desk. Just enough for a laptop, so really nothing crazy. Is. You can use this for storage for a desk if you need stuff. I love the pictures too. And she loves Let's doors, see. like I that is so doors. my mom and windows and these kinds of scenes, right? Like this is what I always try and do. I didn't take these pictures, but they're beautiful. And then look how perfectly this fits. Got your pullout sleeping space. Oh my Just goodness, like right that. to there. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Oh my God. Go lay down. That's crazy. So cool. Oh my goodness. That's, that's a really nice lounge area too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like this is now a guest room. I love that everywhere I is is near the window you know and I mean? yes like the everything good. shares the light and everything has a view from each corner of the room you're always seeing something pretty I can't believe like even the curtain rod right like yeah look, you got two curtain rods up there yeah Wonderful. so that we have double curtains you can move one and not the other I feel so unworthy I cannot believe how you changed this do you like the color like I it's love fun this. right this is it yeah right after all that trying to figure out the color Right? Yeah. This is it. Yeah. This looks, it's, it just brings it alive. And like this, like this whole like ornate stuff with this rug, like I just feel like everything is like matching with its patterns and texture. Well, you put a lot of thought into this and a lot of work. I know how much time she's put into this. Painted it yourself, chose <laughs> everything. And she knew that she knew what my style is, so yeah. it speaks to me. It is brilliant. You know, the purpose of this space is to have the desk space and the reading space and the sleeping space. So to ground it all on this wall, I feel like makes sense in here. And it makes this side of the room feel really airy and open. This, this is like arriving in retirement. Yeah, this, this is, like is your arriving. retirement room. In, in your little, way, your little this... European resort with your pictures. So you can just in... imagine you're there. <laughs> well done. You did a great job. Thank you. Nice <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Like, I love it, but I'm so glad you like it. I think I'm going to find you in here. I know. I really think <laughs> you will, too. Wait till your dad see this. Can we show him on yes. camera, too? I think he's going to be like, what? He's he has no idea about the plan in here, so he'd be like, what happened? Wow. <laughs> well, look at that. I like that color. You like it? Yeah. What do you think? Well, well this is amazing. Isn't Absolutely it cool? Amazing. Well, that's stunning. That's really very, very Oh, I'm good. glad you like it. That's, so we yeah. tied in mom's dresser, yeah. you know? Look at the colors. And yeah. this doesn't this look like me? Yeah, that's definitely you. I and could put you in there. <laughs> right? Like, so this room is a reading nook, an office, but it's also a guest room or a kid's room if needed. Look how perfect this is. Well, I can go lay down. I can lie down on that. <laughs> look so at that. John, I have a problem. <laughs> this looks oh, like a therapy room. <laughs> look at you two. Isn't that comfortable? Look at the space in here. Right? We have three different things going on in here and it all fits perfectly. I know. You guys look really cute in here together. <laughs> Fantastic. I can't, I can't wait. Do you look very important over there? Do I look important? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the principal's office. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you think about it, the way it was before, right? Like this represented my work. This represented you as a little girl. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a whole life There's a here, whole life right? yeah. that happened in this room. And now a new life is happening. Right? Yeah. Very interesting. Stunning. Not, not what I expected. I don't even know what you expect. <laughs> But, you know, because you had your grandmother's uh, chest of drawers there, I thought it was going to be kind of antique but this is really stunning. Nice balance. Yeah, very nice balance. Wow. So cool. Love it. I love it. Well, I know who we're going to find in here. Me! Yes. Don't mm -hmm. you feel like you're in, like, a really cool Airbnb? Totally. I, I, I'm just stunned. I'm just stunned. The detail is just amazing of what you've done. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. I didn't kill. Mm. You're welcome. That was fun. <laughs>
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's extreme room makeover. This was a drastic transformation, and I'm so glad with the way it turned out. My mom is so happy. My dad loves it. I love it. So this just worked out perfectly. It's everything I could imagine. If you guys like the way this room turned out and want to see more room makeovers, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you guys are here for upcoming room makeovers. I have so many more planned, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned on so you don't miss an upcoming one. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!